going on guys welcome back to the channel so today I finally got my new case in it is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be the Aza or Asia or Aza whatever you want to call it I think it's pronounced Asia GT1 case now this case has a couple really cool features about it the first very cool feature is that it does have a reversible motherboard meaning that the motherboard is upside down and then can be taken out flipped and put back into the case also it has hot swappable HD or uh, no I'm sorry hot swappable HDD so you can uh, pull your drives out and put your drives in real fast and it's hot swappable meaning that you don't have to turn the computer off to do it uh, one of the other really things that about it is it can hold a 480 millimeter rad in it. So if I ever want to water cool this bad boy, I can do it. So I'm going to take it out of the box. Uh, right here, I'm going to take it out. And then we're going to pull it out. And we're going to see what it looks like. So stick with me, guys. I'm going to pull it out. We're going to talk about it. Hang out. What do y'all think? Whew. Yeah, it is a lot bigger than I thought. Wow. Okay, so let's get the plastic off of it somehow, some way. Pull the plastic off. Oh, that's nice. Check those out. They got air filters in them. That's pretty cool. Nice little dust guard. Hell yeah. Gotta have a dust guard. Alright, so I'm gonna pop it in there. Okay. That's what the front of it looks like. What do y'all think? Pretty cool, huh? Cool, cool, cool. Let me see if I can't change the angle of which we are looking at it. And then that's the other side of it. Man, I'm just blown away at the size of this thing guys look at this it's huge absolutely huge let's uh let's pull some of these pens off like this oh there it goes all right so i do have room for 220 millimeter fans and it looks like it came with one installed God, I can't believe how big it is. This is the inside of it. Uh, it has the hot swappable right there. Comes with a little uh, utility box, of course. Comes with parts, you know, handles, grips, things like that. Has a 140 millimeter fan in the bottom. Looks like it has a 120 millimeter in the back. These are the GPU brackets that hold the GPU in place. Uh, they might need to be tightened down. But basically the CPU will be down here and the GPU will be up here. So it's backwards. And then if I unscrew it, this whole assembly will slide out. Here's a look at the top. You all see the top? That's what the top looks like. Here, let me, uh, let me take the camera off the tripod. Alright, so I got the camera off the tripod and I uh, wanted to show you guys kind of like an in-depth look of it. Right there is the hot swappable base that I was talking about. Alright, and then there's the fan down there, the 140 millimeter fan. It does have the option of mounting the power supply in the front, which I don't think we will need to do. And then we got a 230 millimeter fan sitting up inside there. I definitely like the overall aesthetics of it. It has two water grommets right there. Uh, quick disconnect and reconnect for your HDD drives. And then you have the front of the case. It's, it's going to look good once I get everything put into it. Get all the lights, the LEDs, everything I need. And it should, it should be a good case. I'm just waiting on the motherboard and CPU cooler 
and I bought an MV, NVMe SSD or M.2 to go into it so it's going to be ultra fast I just I was really blown away by how big it is I did not expect it to be that tall at all I mean it's 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 utterly huge way bigger than what I thought but that's okay because if you want to cram a bunch of stuff in it you surely can I mean just look at the uh, look at the side panel you know to give you guys an idea look there's my other computer right that's my other computer look how big the side panel is see it there's my other computer that has a full ATX motherboard in it and then there's the case the side panel to this case it dwarfs it I can hide my entire computer behind this one panel this one side panel to give you guys an idea of how big this damn thing is I'm happy with it it was uh, seventy one dollars it usually goes for let's see here I got some notes here where I made uh, it usually goes for a hundred and ten this case will go for a hundred and ten but I bought it for seventy one bucks on Black Friday so I'm waiting for my Black Friday stuff I'm waiting for my Black Friday equipment to come in uh, like I said I was playing around with some stuff and I kind of fried it and overclocked it a little and there went that so I had to buy a new CPU and new stick of RAM and all that and that's what this stuff is over here uh, the new RAM module the new CPU the cooler and then I got some other parts that are coming in that I'm waiting for um, but what I was really waiting on was this case to show up because once this case gets here you know then I can start preparing that computer to go into this one because I mean I can save money and stuff by putting the fans in that machine and this machine so that's what we're going to do but yeah guys I just kind of wanted to show you this case it's it's a phenomenal case man other than the fact that you know I've already said that it has a hot swappable and that the motherboard that was the main reason why I bought this case was because it has a reversible motherboard what was that Oh, it's the bunny. She's always in my room, guys. She likes chewing on all my boxes. Don't you, Isabel? Little bunny. But yeah, that's the case, man. I hope you guys like it. And we're going to do a build in it. And it's going to look cool. And I'll give you guys a uh, top shot of it. So you can see what the top kind of looks like. You know, I was told though that these vents up here need to be cut out if you're going to want any type of air because, and I can see why, those vents are real narrow. I mean, they're like that thin, narrow on the top. So I'm going to take a, a Dremel tool or something and I'm going to, I'm going to cut those out, get that a bigger. The uh, 140 millimeter fan that's located at the bottom it has this cover on it you see that it has like this fan cover on it well I was looking at it but check this out it just it just pops right on out like that so that way if you want to clean something like clean the clean this or whatever you can it just pops right on and right off and it will fit any 140 millimeter fan it claims to that it's pretty much universal but I like that that's that's a cool feature and then down here there's the uh, the screen guard for your uh, what do you call it your power supply I do like that it has a lot of cable management there's a lot of room for me to run cables through like all these grommets on the side here and one of the reasons why I really wanted this case is because I've never built an inverted system before usually the CPUs up here and then the GPUs down here well this one's gonna be backwards GPU is gonna be up here CPU is gonna be down here so it's gonna be interesting to build in it I'm really excited for it and yeah so we'll go from there guys earlier I mentioned about the uh, hot swappable bays well one of the things that I noticed is that it has a Molex a SATA and then it has a three pin fan connection on it right here which is that's interesting because that would be great for me to run another fan because sometimes you know you got 
fan headers that are running everywhere and it'd be nice to have one right here and I think I am going to try to use the hot swappable bays in it because that's a pretty cool feature in it and you can hold plenty of storage space see I'm going to use this for my editing rig it's so it's going to hold a bunch of hard drives and it's going to be super fast and then if I want to game in it I can stick my GTX 1070 in it and go to town with it and have fun with that but until I figure something else out to do with it, yeah. But anyway, I just want to tell you all about that hot swappable bay. So I would thought we would take a quick little look at what came in the accessory box. If you guys see ears pop up, that's because I got my dog in my lap. And if you hear a disturbing noise in the background, my fiance is vacuuming. So without further ado, let's take a look at and see what is in the accessory box. First thing we... Oh okay it's in a giant bag that's convenient all right what do we got a manual some other cases or some other parts to the case I guess I'm just going to open it up flip it upside down and dump them out there we go just like that obviously that's the manual for it in their in installation guide which I have a couple questions about the uh, hot swappable bay and how I can run that it looks like we get some mounting brackets of some kind right there. Uh, this is the handle that goes on the back of the motherboard tray so you can pull it out of the case and then reverse it and push it back into the case. I already know what that's for. Um, that looks like another GPU mount of some kind or something like that maybe. Uh, you get some zip ties of course yes yes we all know what zip ties are another GPU bracket now I do know that these GPU brackets the reason why you get so many and, and uh, is because they work for different cards different lengths and different manufacturers and stuff that's kinda like what all these little individual grooves and stuff are in it for um, and then you get a box of nuts oh yeah that's just what I need a whole bunch of nuts and screws and more crap that I already got um, that's a speaker for the motherboard we won't need that and then we have I'll be dang look at that that's feet I've never seen a case come with rubber attachable f so you can attach your own feet to it I guess that's what that's for I don't know I'll have to look in the installation guide maybe it's uh, for the GPU mounts or something I'm not sure but we'll look at it and then of course like I said zip ties uh, brackets, GPU mounts, a handle, and a bag of screws. And that's it. That's what comes in the accessory guide. Say thank you, Sadie. Thank you. Alright. Now, on the bottom of the case, it does have two removable dust filters. Check that out. See the design in it? It's kind of cool looking. See it? like a, a different design than normal filters are but it just slides back in like that and it just clips in and then you have another one on the back side here that pulls out right here and then there's that one so that's really cool that you have plenty I mean one thing that I do find common in you know more expensive cases is that they come with air filters and all this other good stuff and that's a quality that I looked forward to see there's a better look at that uh, 230 millimeter fan that I was uh, talking to you guys about that's right there we're going to replace that with our own um, fan but we're going to put two 140 millimeter fans at the bottom and eventually we're going to put a radiator down here so yeah but I just want to tell you guys about the radiators real quick or about the filters I'm sorry look that's the box that it came in look at the box the box tells you all about I guess about all the the stuff I mean look how big the box is guys the box is is huge unbelievably big I can't even fit the box into the camera frame at one time I have to kinda zoom up or zoom down to it I mean it's gigantic so it has USB 3.0 in it screwless drive locks for easy assemble up to five easy swap trays so here it says uh, 120 millimeter fan 220 millimeter fans inside 
you can put 240 millimeters at the bottom it supports up to a 400 millimeter graphics card which is really good because that that's really big has a 230 millimeter fan in the top to exhaust the air and then here's some of the specs the bunnies over there chewing on a box stop hey quit chewing on my boxes all right back to this and it just gives you kind of like some of the general specs and uh, low down but this is the GT1 case by Aza or Azi or Aza whatever you want to say there it is there it is I was really happy with it I mean I just can't believe how big it is oh, I'm so excited to build in it guys I'm so excited alright so let me uh, let me go ahead and end this film I'll go ahead and get this edited out to you guys put it on the net and then hopefully in another day or so I'll get the motherboard and the uh, hard drive and a couple of other components that I'm waiting on and then we'll do a Black Friday build for you guys so that's where we're at peace